I'm Mike Bowers. I'm Director of Photography for the Global Mail. I'm talking pictures this week with cartoonist for the Sydney Morning Herald and Sun Herald, Cathy Wilcox. A very warm welcome back. Thanks, Mike. Good morning. Well, blow me down. The Australian Parliament has actually done what it's supposed to do and passed legislation this week. Yes. You know, were you in shock? I'm still in shock and, um, and uh, yes, it's, it sort of feels like we're all a whole lot older. It kind of like the expert panel for new ideas uh, came out and with a full report saying there really aren't any new ideas and, and round we go again. Certainly it was no easy job getting the opposition on board and I think the pictures this week kind of reflect the, uh, the level of stress that was uh, circulating through Parliament, it was coursing through the corridors. Yes, I think that picture evokes um, Julia Gillard having just swallowed a sandwich very thin was bread unpleasant. and an unpleasant filling. Yeah, Let's sticks to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> it, it does. <laughs> Strange and unusual friends uh, sort of across the table, the deal being done there. That's, um, you really couldn't get more of an iconic deal done shot than that. It mm. pretty much sums mm. it up across the Hansards there. Yep, we've all supped with the devil now. <laughs> Cathy, uh, Alan Moyer has summed it up beautifully, I think, with um, Angus Houston on the back of HMAS Quandary here, uh, sh throwing a life preserver to Tony Abbott, uh, which says Malaysian deferral, and Nauru to Julia. Nobody is feeling like anybody is is uh, is, is doing a great thing no. now, are they? No. And so they're all, they've all got to kind of grasp onto whatever they can. Uh, um, can. Dignity overboard pretty much sums the entire thing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kathy, it might have been a new report, but a lot of the cartoonists had a uh, sense of deja vu. John Kadelka has, uh, has got uh, Julia morphing into uh, John Howard, mm. which is uh, a disturbing thought. Uh, we will decide who enters this country and the circumstances in which they come. You did that very naturally, Mike. <laughs> The Circumnavigators. Um, um, I do love David Rose drawings, and he's got uh, he's got all the all the, all the players here. With poor old Christine Mill seems to be throwing up something green and horrible. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, run out of brown paint now, and David's using the green. The green stuff, exactly <laughs> right. Land ho, as they uh, as they sort of see the. Uh, the rock of Howard sticking out there. No, and I think that's a little metaphor for the um, for the cartoonists sort of finding that safe ground of being able to, jo to draw John Howard again. <laughs> We're all going, gee, he was like a, you know, like a, a benevolent uncle to us, you know. <laughs> Plain packaging got the all clear as tobacco companies' um, um, case basically went up in smoke and that's just been a beautiful gift for the cartoonists at the end of the, uh, last week. Yes, a little change of air. You could say, wouldn't you? you know? <laughs> Lovely little uh, cartoon you've oh, got here. Run us through this. This hilarious cartoonist. She's, <laughs> she's done it again, she's, Mike. She's done it again. <laughs> <laughs> we at Big Tobacco are very worried about all those people who'll be tempted to buy cheap cigarettes and smoke them which could be bad for their health. Yeah, a lot of, a few crocodile tears from the old big yeah, tobacco yeah. there big about tobacco. the possible consequences of this uh, this uh, latest legislation. I did love this, David Pope. Super back his fragile legal tactical sclerosis. <laughs> I'm glad that you said that, not me. I and, had uh, to practice that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Nicola Roxon is uh, Mary Poppins here flying through uh, with the high cold umbrella and plane packs and, uh, oh my God, it's the nanny state. Nice little baby here too, I do. Nice little sort of suggestion. Oh yeah, in, uh, yes, in that's the crib, right. nannying the, uh, <laughs> the baby with all the pretty packets. Kathy, it's always a great pleasure chewing over the events of the week. Thank you very much. Chewing them over, spitting them out. Back to you, Barry.